as I enter into another day, another week, another month without Linda. Without the maid who not only made my life better, but made me better at life. If anything, the weight of this grief is heavier. Nevertheless, I've, I've continued to learn the lessons that God has for me right now in the face of all this. And it seems to help as I try to share them with others. First lesson that I learned that I shared through my last post was to lean into God. That was the only thing that kept me going as the shock of this loss became a reality. The trust in the Lord that I built over the years really is the only thing that has sustained me in these days. But there's been another lesson that I'm learning and leaning into at this point on the journey. My journey into life without Linda. And that lesson's this. I've got to lean into the individuals that God puts on the path with me. Now that may sound obvious to many, but... Um, let me be very forthcoming here. Throughout our lives, Lynn and I just naturally leaned into each other. Whatever the need, whatever the challenge, whatever the hardship, whatever it was, we just leaned into each other. And that was not only enough for us, it also was what got us through whatever we faced. We wouldn't say a lot to others about the challenges or the needs we had. We didn't ask for help. We always had each other, and so we were good. Now, I'm not saying that was the right way to do things, but it worked for us because we always had each other. Even in those times when we really did need help, to be honest with you, uh, we wouldn't ask for it. And if somebody offered, we tended to minimize things because we just didn't want to be a burden on anyone. We always like to be blessings towards others and a help towards others and not a drain or a burden. And so through the years, we, we tended only to lean on each other. And it worked. It worked because we always had each other. So be it cancer or some church conflict, we got through it because we had each other. But now there's no one there for me to lean on as I limp through my days. So I'm having to learn a whole new lesson on how to lean on those individuals that God puts in my path. Now, is that humbling? Absolutely. Is it helping? More than I can manage to explain. For example, in the days immediately following Linda's death, um, our wonderful neighbors <laughs> just across the street, they texted me to tell me that they were going to take care of the lawn, my lawn, so I wouldn't have to worry about it as we were getting ready for everything. And that was an incredible kindness to me. But here's the thing, a month later, they did it again. When I realized what they had done, because this time they just did it, and I came home and, and I, was, I was so overwhelmed by what they did. I attempted to, to, to send them a, a thank you text. I couldn't even see clearly to do it because of the tears. I cried all the way to work one day on the, over that one. And then there were the phone calls that I made um, <laughs> to people. One day I, 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 I tried to call a fellow widower, a friend I have, uh, honestly just so I could cry with somebody who's been there. Uh, the call went to voicemail because he didn't answer. And I didn't leave a message. I just didn't have any words really to say in a message. So I just hung up. But within minutes, my phone was ringing, and it was him. He saw the, that he'd missed a call from me, and he made sure he called back. And we cried together, and it helped. There have been the unexpected meals and food gift cards that have just kept me eating when I could care less. 
there have been the incredible generosity of both my church and my district and friends who have helped me pay the bills. You ever thought how cruel it is that it costs so much to die? My point is this. I've never been good at asking for or accepting help from others. But as I limp my way through this amputation, I'm learning not only to lean into God, but to lean into those that God puts on the path with me. And it helps. And I just thought I would share that with you today.